The scene begins in a courier company named FedEx, and we notice Chuck who was an executive officer at the company, he is very serious concerning his work. He wants that all couriers will be delivered on time, because of which he used to go to different countries. Chuck is in love with a girl named Kelly, their relationship is very strong, so they are willing to marry, but however they are unable to marry, due to the demands of their professions. Christmas was near and Chuck has a business tour in Malaysia. Chuck assures Kelly that he will return back on the new year, Chuck and Kelly give each other Christmas gifts, Kelly gifts him a watch in which Kelly's photo is fixed. Now Chuck departs to Malaysia, Chuck was finding this journey very good and pleasant, but it had written something else in his fate, suddenly a storm burst out and his company's aircraft got crashed. Aircraft crashed down into the Pacific Ocean. There are also four more persons in the aircraft, but only Chuck has survived. He is being flowed with the running water of the sea, waking up in the morning, he finds himself on an island. Chuck is worried, seeing no one was there, he shouts a lot but he does not sense the presence of human beings. He writes a big help on the ground so that any overhead passing aircraft may come to help. Night falls and he sleeps, waking up the next morning, he finds that his written word help has been washed away, now he writes it again using wood, he is assured that someone will come for his help. Now Chuck feels appetite, and he also gets nothing in the packages of company, that flowed towards the shore. Now Chuck hears the sound of something, looking in his surroundings, he observes a fallen coconut, he gets the coconut drink by a great effort and he survives by drinking it. Chuck has passed three days here, his feet are also injured as a result of the rocks in the sea, because he is barefooted. He cuts his pant half, and wraps its piece around his feet, so that he may avoid pain and injury. There he notices a peak of a mountain, he decides to climb it up reaching to top of it, he notices something floating in the sea. Coming down, he is left astonished that it was the dead body of his aircraft pilot, he weeps a lot and arranges his burial. But before burying, he keeps his torch light and shoes. Now he was habituated to live on this island, he survives while drinking the fallen dew drop on leaves, he wants to catch the fish but cannot succeed. He does not get anything except dew drops and coconut drinks. Seeing a ship in the sea at night, he is overexcited, he turns on the light of the torch and yells for help but all goes in vain. Next day, he decides to leave the island taking the raft that he had, while escaping he falls in the sea because of the strong speedy waves of the sea, meanwhile, his foot is wounded and also bleeds. Chuck returns back to island and rain also starts, noticing a cave, he moves inside to spend the night there, he turns on the torch and sleeps. Turning on the torch the whole night its battery is lowed. Now he has nothing like a torch for producing light, even he does not know how to ignite fire, he was searching for some useful things in the company package which was flowed with him. Opening them, he finds ice skating shoes which have blades at its below side, he cuts the coconut with it easily, now he can cut anything. He cuts a wooden stick shaping it pointy, now he succeeded in catching the fish. He can't eat raw fish, so he tries to light up the fire, trying again and again he got success. This is the first time, he feels happiness after coming on the island. Chuck was totally alone on this island, so to remove his loneliness he make a face on a volleyball, that he got from company packages. He makes eyes, nose, and lips on it with his own blood. He converses with him and keeps it beside the fire for drying, he names it Wilson. There is one more problem that aroused there which is his toothache, it is chronic pain but he never goes to doctor for its checkup. Now Chuck wants to pull the tooth and he does it with the ice skating shoes, he gets faints with it. With the passage of time, he spends four years on the island, he knows the way of survival within four years, his appearance deteriorates with the growing hair of his beard and head, he seems feeble. He was trained too much to catch the fish throwing a stick. Chuck had become the close friend of Wilson with whom he used to talk. While sleeping in cave, he hears a sound. Seeing there he discovers a steel sheet. And he hits upon an idea, he can escape from here by using it. Whenever he tries to escape, the sea waves become the hindrance for him. Now he's creating a boat from coconut wood and he protects the front from the sheet metal. He decides to run away when the climate is modest, he does the same, putting Wilson in the boat he sails, 
After a little effort he travels a measurable distance from that island. But now he does not know that when will the land be visible, he was optimistic about reaching the house. He has to face the worst circumstance in the voyage, he arranges the edible things, he saves fish as food and rainwater for drinking, he gathers the rainwater in the coconut shell. He keeps them safely to use it in difficult times. As he wakes up, he notices his friend Wilson is fallen into the sea, it has crossed a distance when he knows about it, jumping into the water, he exerts to save Wilson but remain unsucceeded. Returning back into the raft, he weeps a lot, because Wilson had accompanied him within these four years. Now Chuck was very tired after the voyage of many days, suddenly a ship passes before his raft, the sailor saves him after seeing. Chuck was returning back to his hometown but Pilot tells him, his friends and relatives had thought that he was no more, and his beloved friend Kelly was married now, she also has a daughter. Chuck goes to meet her and she embraces him feeling pleasure, now Kelly is married, so their ways are separated. Chuck returns the given watch of Kelly because it is Kelly's family watch, but he keeps the photo of Kelly that attached to the watch. Kelly says to him, you had promised me to return back, but you didn't, I felt from inside that you would come back, but I got married at the emphasis of society and friends. Kelly is still in love with Chuck, but she has her own family, so she cannot go with him. Kelly has the gifted car of Chuck, she returns it back and Chuck leaves taking this car. Seeing him, Kelly becomes sad and runs after him, consequently Chuck also returns and they embrace each other. Kelly says to him, I know that you are alive and surely will return, but I didn't waited for you, please forgive me. They express their feelings for one another, Chuck drops her at her house lifting her in the car, he says that, I do not want to break your relationship. Now Chuck is sitting with his friend and tells him that, I had also tried to commit suicide on the island, but the thoughts of Kelly kept me alive. But returning back, I come to know that she got married. Now Chuck was left alone but life has to move on, Chuck has a package that he brought from the island. Now he comes to deliver the package after 4 years, this shows his dedication, he goes to return the package but finds no one there. Writing a paper note, he leaves it at the door, on which righted, this package saved my life. Then he leaves from there, now we see Chuck on the muddy path, looking at a map, finding where should he go. A girl tells him the way, Chuck notices that, her car has the same wing mark that the package has, and she trips the same house where Chuck had left that package with paper note. A new ray of hope appears in his eyes and the movie ends here. I hope that you liked the video. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.